yes good morning everyone in the last videos i think just we started a new batch on okay data structures and algorithms with python the implementation of these data structures and various algorithms will be with respect to python okay and the duration of this course is 2 to 3 months the timings of this batch is from 8 am to 9 am okay so monday to saturday and the fees for this batch is 399 rupees 399 where you are going to get running notes videos and live classes you can attend the people who are willing to continue you can contact to these members and the syllabus i explained very clearly how we are going to uh, cover these data structures step by step all these things i explained in the last videos i think so up to linked list i explained and the next next data structures which we are going to discuss here is stack data structures and i think you know in the stack again internally there are n number of components are there okay how this stack is going to work so is there any predefined support for this stack data structure and what are the various applications related to the stack data structure each and everything we are going to cover in this session and then queue data structure same like a stack in the stack whatever object that we are inserting at the last will be the item which is going to be removed first but in the case of a queue it is a following first in first out concept that means what the person who is there in the first queue so he will get the chance first come first serve okay so that specialized data structure is called as a queue data structure so what are the applications related to the queue and how this queue is going to work in detail we will discuss next and after that hash table okay it is a special data structure where searching operation will become very easy and a tree data structure here we are going to cover okay here we are going to cover so binary trees binary search trees avl trees red black trees like different types of trees we are going to cover here and a priority queue so how you can work with this priority queue heap data structure here we will have and then graph data structure okay how the nodes are connected minimum cost spanning tree tsp problem okay best, best uh, traversals pfs dfs like all these things we are going to cover and a dynamic programming okay so uh, dynamic programming is a beautiful concept sir if you want just a matter of one second i will show you how this dynamic programming is going to work for example if you if you consider i want to calculate fibonacci of a number six so maybe in future we will cover this sir fibonacci of six is nothing but so fibonacci means what sum of previous two numbers right sum of previous two numbers how we are going to get that one so here sum of uh, fibonacci of fifth and the fibonacci of fourth is nothing but our result and the fibonacci of five we can calculate fibonacci of four and fibonacci of three and the fibonacci of four we can calculate fibonacci of three fibonacci of two here we can calculate fibonacci of two fibonacci of one here we can calculate fibonacci of one fibonacci of zero so here also fibonacci of one zero so here we are going to calculate two one and again it will be calculated with one zero and four so it will be considered by three two and here it will be considered with two one and here it will be considered with one zero and here it will be considered with one zero like that so this is the general calculation here how many steps are required so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen calculations we have to perform at at a bottom level but if i apply dynamic programming if i apply dynamic programming so here you can able to see already we calculated a two value right that a two value it is going to return here so wherever we are calculating two value so we are not required to compute in detail okay that means here we will calculate the value of one here we will calculate the value of zero we will calculate so that we will get the value of two so that we will get the value of three so that we can get a four but to get a four value we need the result of three and two but already two is computed right 
so we are not required to compute that value it is going to carry forward and here four value it will return three value already computed that value it will return so five value it will return and whatever five four we have written the same value we have to take here also so means what so how many comparisons one two three four five six seven eight nine calculations is required have you observed we are going to minimize the number of calculations there is some concept called memoization and tabulation by using that we are going to achieve these kind of things sir this is called as dynamic programming this we are going to cover in detail in our dynamic programming chapter okay sir of course i have not i not explained completely about this uh, dynamic programming just at the top level i explain what is the meaning of dynamic programming if anywhere repeated calculations are there so we will store that data in the memory and we will recall whenever it is required we are not required to compute again and again and again okay i think you people got clear clarity about how this dynamic programming is going to work can you please confirm is the theoretical concept of dp is it clear for you people yes yes right so next there is one more concept is there very very important related to the applications which is nothing but greedy method greedy method sir it is a very easy just one small example i will take so don't uh, feel in detail we are not getting all these concepts because everything as a separate chapter we will discuss what is mean by greedy method for example consider so uh, i i went to shop to purchase okay uh, some item okay so to purchase some item assume the total bill in this particular shop is nothing but 48 rupees i purchase so i have given 100 rupees note i need to get how much amount okay how much amount i need to get i think 52 rupees i need to get back okay sir this shop person having multiple options to give this 52 rupees the possible denominations sir he is having 50 rupees notes he is having 20 rupees notes he is having 10 rupees notes he is having 5 rupees notes he is having 2 rupee coins he is having 1 rupee coin sir among these what probability he is going to select less number of notes or less number of coins he has to give for you right he won't give 51 50 to 1 rupee coins he won't give or 26 2 rupee coins he won't give okay like that he is going to select one 50 rupees note and one 2 rupees coin so that the number of units that he he is going to give for you is nothing but only two suppose if you select this one so five 10 rupee coins and one 2 rupee coin means six notes he has to give for you so always he is trying to minimize always he is trying to minimize so the number of values but we have to get maximum profit so for that minimization or maximization we can perform by using greedy method we have multiple approaches are there coin exchange problem okay next and after that knapsack problem like we have different problems are there i will explain clearly with the examples sir so next and after that bit manipulations how to work with binary numbers as you know uh the memory i mean the system can understand only zeros and ones whatever input you are giving so it will be converted into binary level instructions and those instructions will be executed in the mission right generally that is the situation which is going to be happen but here uh, whenever we are converting into binary there are some special operators are there called bitwise operators what is the purpose of bitwise operators automatically it will convert whatever data is there internally into binary the main purpose of bitwise operators is to work with binary numbers that's why we are not required to do any explicit operation so if we are performing the operators by using bitwise operators efficiency is going to increase right like we have some bitwise operators and n number of applications we are going to discuss in this bit manipulations chapter so the only purpose of this bitwise of bit manipulations is nothing but to improve the performance beyond that nothing 
so many new logics around the five to six applications i will develop so you people are going to enjoy in this and at last time and space complexity of all algorithms of course here itself while taking the classes itself we are going to calculate time and space complexities but at the end i am going to give a chart where complete whatever algorithms we covered for every algorithm we are going to discuss time and space complexities okay so this is nothing but what a syllabus we are going to cover and yesterday day before yesterday i think we have defined what is mean by algorithm how to write algorithm for a small application what is mean by flow chart how to write a flow chart implementation okay and some theory parts i didn't covered that we will discuss later and the growth of functions how this linear time we can measure how we can measure this constant time all these things and um, i explained linked list in that how you can represent a single linked list that node representation double linked list node representation and inserting a node into the first element i mean into the first position in a single linked list i explained okay sir can you please confirm up to this do you have any doubts yes i request everyone to please respond up to this do you have any doubts yes please respond yeah very good sir right so next concept inserting a node at the last in a single linked list yesterday we have seen inserting a node at the beginning right now we are going to see inserting a node at the last in a single linked list okay so means what already i have a single linked list is there that is one case what is the second case suppose if there is no element i mean if there is no element in the single linked list then how we can represent so consider first case my head is pointing to none if my head is pointing to none then what is the meaning that node is not existed right that node is not existed that is nothing but the concept here now suppose if my head is pointing to some element if my head is pointing to some node consider this is nothing but my head node this is nothing but my head node so which contains 11 and here next we have so 22 is there so next we have 33 is there last field is pointing to none so there are two cases are there suppose if i want to insert a node at the end of the linked list if the node linked list is empty then how we are inserting suppose if your linked list is already existed then how you can able to store so there are two cases are there i will write the code for this so that you can understand well okay sir so here i am going to take def add last yesterday we have seen add first function right now we are going to take add last where i am going to pass self and then data self and then data so two pointers i am giving one is nothing but a self other one is nothing but a data sir what is the first operation we need to create a new node new node is equal to i am going to create okay new node is equal to i am going to create sir how we created new node here the previous case uh, new node is equal to node of so here also so node of i am going to give the data and the next field i am going to provide as a none like this with the help of this line what will happen sir here a new node will be created here a new node will be created so data is assume the data is nothing but triple one next field is none what is the name of this node this node is nothing but new node and here also in the first case in the second case i am explaining both the cases parallelly so 
if the linker list is already available a new node will be created in this step so how you can identify the first case very simple we have to check if self dot head is equal to none if a self dot head is equal to none means what the linked list is not available in such cases so self dot head self dot head will become the new node which you created and written the control means what just we are breaking this link and we are making this head to be pointed to this new node so now after execution of this process how many nodes are there in the single linked list one node is there previously my single linked list is empty now because of this statement what happened one new node got inserted at the end of single linked list this is nothing but the first case okay sir suppose if single linked list is already available then what we have to do sir can you please confirm so is this a first case is it clear for you people is this first case case 1 so if if sll is empty single linked list is empty what will happen everyone can you please confirm is it clear up to this whatever i covered sir, now sir yes. how will come to know it is a single linked list sir how we came to know to yeah because we have only two fields right uh -huh. okay uh, double linked list means how many fields we have three fields data three previous fields. Next. single linked list means only data and the next field will be there. you can write same program for double linked list also if you want double linked list then what we have to do so here one more pointer you have to take like this then it will create a node with three fields data new uh, none and then none. okay sir i request everyone to please confirm is this a first case is clear for you people yes right Uh, right. sir uh, the second line new node is equals to node of put data hmm uh, none right so hmm. new node means what it is it is is it object or it is an object new node is nothing but object already node class is there for this class it is we are creating an object this is the class okay okay actually today i joined the first time sir. okay okay yesterday i explained about this one sir Okay. Yeah, sir. It is an incomplete code actually. Just I am giving outline. That's all, because it is a big program. We will discuss in the single linked list separately. Just for your understanding, since it is a demo class, I am covering some topics randomly. Okay. 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 When you gonna start uh, complete? Uh, it will be started from tomorrow, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. Right. right. so this is the way how you can add at very beginning sir it is for case 1 what is case 2 sir already different nodes are there here okay now what we have to do you need to connect these two nodes sir if you want to connect these two nodes you must know what is the name of this node and what is the name of this node sir this node name is already there which is nothing but n n new node but this node name is not there so what we have to do we have two options are there what is the first option you can bring this head to here you can bring this head to here but you can't disturb head if you disturb head what will happen these nodes will be automatically deleted so because head is the only pointer by using that we are moving in the forward direction so after making this head to 33 if you ask to display the linked list it will always start displaying from head node so these two nodes will be gone that's why you should not move head pointer what is another possibility sir you can assign one temporary variable one temporary node sir is this 11 node is this node is null or the next field is null no next field is existed then 
you can make this uh, temp to point to the next node. Is it next node is none? No. Then again, you can move this uh, temp to this position. Is this next node is none? Yes. Then you can stop moving this. Sir, something like I am taking a while loop. So I will repeat until the next node is none. If the next node is not existed, it will stop there itself. Can you please check this node name is there? This node is name is there. So temp dot next term will become new node or not? Yes, very simple operation. So how many lines of code you have to take? So two instructions with one loop we have to take. Sir, what is the instruction here? What is the instruction here? Temp is equal to self dot head. So this is nothing but temp is equal to self dot head. While your temp dot next is not equal to none. Sir, is it equal to none next field? No. Then your temp will become temp dot next. So temp will move here. Is its next field is not equal to none? Yes, temp will move here. Is its next field is not equal to none? No, not, it is equal to none. It will come out from the while loop. Once if you come out from the while loop, then what we have to do? You need to assign temp dot next is equal to, okay, temp dot next is equal to, you have to provide a new node. In this style, sir, you can create, uh, you can add a node at the last, sir. If you want, you can add a node at a specified position also. If you want to add at a specified position, we have to create another new link and you need to make your pointer to move to that particular position. Like that we can do. This is the way how we can able to add the node at the very beginning at the ending, sir. I think with this, you got clarity how we can work in the future with linked list. Can you please confirm everyone? Is this concept is clear for you people? If you are having any queries, please let me know. Yes, I request everyone to please respond. Any doubts up to this? Right. So now um last functionality i want to display the elements in single linked list so this operation is also called as traversing traversing means what visiting each and every node present in a linked list okay uh, it is a new concept to me so i will wait until you cover this thoroughly yeah yeah uh, don't see the uh, instructions, all these things. Try to understand at the top level. The algorithm is physical, uh, I mean, diagrammatic representation. Is it clear or not? Just you have to check. That is my main intention to cover this concept here. Okay. Right. Next. Sir, I want to display the elements. As usual, we have two special cases here. What is the case number one? Sir, my head pointer is there. Okay, which is pointing to none. Means what? There is no elements in this linked list. In such a cases, how my head pointer is going to react? If there is no element in the linked list, so then head is always pointing to none, sir. In such a cases, how it is going to work. So what is the second case here? The second case is nothing but, okay. So the second case is nothing but already some elements are there. Consider this is my first node, which is connected with other node, which is connected with other node. So which is connected with other node. Last field is always none. Consider we have one, two, three, four like this. Here also, this pointer is always head like this we have. Now, I want to traverse. Traverse means what? We have to display 
each and every element present in this single linked list sir very simple operation i am going to write listen carefully what is the function that we have to do display function display function okay so here as of now just i am writing empty function so what parameters we have to take that we will discuss in detail first i am going to check is your self dot head is equal to none suppose if your self dot head is equal to none then what message we are printing single linked list is empty and then we have to return the control single linked list is empty then we have to <coughs> return the control sir otherwise what we have to do if the single linked list is not empty then what we have to do sir i need to display okay i need to display the elements now i am going to display a message saying the elements are the elements are so i am taking one temporary variable which is pointing to self dot head and until so temp is not equal to none until temp is not equal to none just we are printing so temp dot data temp dot data and we are making temp is equal to temp dot next like this we are going to move the pointers that's all sir how it is going to work have a look once first case is okay second case i am going to take temp is equal to self dot head sir this is a temp right now yes sir is it not equal to none yes content is there so it is not equal to none then it will print the data your output will become one then temp is equal to temp dot next now my temp is pointing here sir print this temp dot data it will become two and make your temp is equal to temp tends to next sir is this is equal to none no so then what will happen it will display this data and make temp here sir is it equal to none no it will print the data now your temp will become temp dot next what is a temp dot next none right so now my temp is pointing to none how this head is pointing none in the same way see is temp is not equal to none no temp is equal to none immediately it will stop printing the data so it is printed the output like 1 2 3 4 like this this is nothing but how we can perform display operation on single linked list how you can perform display operation on single linked list i think you people got clear clarity about this can you please confirm is this a small code snippet is it clear for you people yes i request everyone to please confirm is it clear up to this yes sir sir here uh, here the loop is starts from the second onwards for uh... no no first onwards in the okay. sixth line i have given temp is equal to self dot head right yeah yeah so first node will be pointed by temp and it will check is it none is it empty node if it is not empty it will print and it will move that pointer to the next node so yes, the so difference so, between so, previous the difference between previous while loop and this while loop i think you people got confused in the previous while loop what we are checking is the next node is existed or not we are checking but here what we are checking is the current node is existed or not we are checking so how to check next node or how to check a current node temp will become current node how to check next node temp dot next will become next node rakesh can you please switch off your video mode so how to get a uh, third node so temp dot next will become second node temp dot next dot next will become third node how to get fourth node so temp dot next will become second node its next field will become third node its next field will become fourth node like that also we can maintain sir no worries at all okay so but we are not going to do all these extra stuff we will concentrate only on this temp and temp dot next by writing a loop okay okay this um, i mean this complete function is going to run definitely mm, yes 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 i got it. right right 
so this is nothing but how single link list is going to work of course we have uh, n number of functionalities are there in this single link list but at a top level i covered only three functionalities one is how you can insert a node at the beginning how you can insert a node at the ending and how to display the elements only these three functionalities i covered so i have not taken in detail into this anyway separately we have linked list concept is there there we will talk about that sir now my next requirement i will write a small code here uh, i want to implement an algorithm algorithm to find um, factorial to find a factorial of the given number i want to take a number and i want to find factorial of that number for this i need to write an application how you can write sir there are multiple ways are there for solving this problem first we have to read a number so definitely the data is in the form of integer that's why so enter any number any number like this i am asking a number from the user right factorial right there are multiple versions are there for this the first version is nothing but i am printing in the formatted string like the given number is equal to n okay and um, it's a factorial it's a factorial by using version 1 by using version 1 is nothing but so i am going to take a function like fact underscore p1 which is taking n as the input so we have to define the function so there are multiple ways are there we can write a loop we can write recursion and we can take predefined function is also available see there is one special module is there in python with the name math so by using that i want to calculate factorial version 1 simply i am going to return math dot factorial of n whatever number that you are giving whatever number that you are giving it will find factorial of that number and it is going to return that number and it is going to return that number so what will happen whatever number you are passing it will calculate a factorial of that number and it will return okay very simple first to code right so i want to execute this program if i want to run this program i need a command prompt so in the command prompt i want to take that so all my python programs are saved in a test test folder that's why i entered into test now i am giving py space test dot py enter any number i am giving 5 as you can see number is a 5 and it's a factorial by using version 1 is nothing but 120 okay by using version 1 it is nothing but 120 like this we are getting sir i want to take second version what is the second version here so def i am taking fact version 2 where it is taking a number sir i want to write a loop so if you want to take a loop recursively okay we have to calculate right that's why by default factorial is nothing but 1 and for i in the range of for i in the range of 1 to n plus 1 so i think you people know very well about this range function so range of if you are giving a comma b sir what this function is going to do it includes it includes the value of a and it will exclude the value of b and it will generate the numbers from a to b sir means what suppose if i am giving 2 comma 6 which numbers are dropped by this particular uh, range function 2 3 4 5 that's all last value is always excluded first value is always inclusive so that's why here i have written 1 comma n plus 1 suppose if n is equal to 5 5 plus 1 means what 6 it will generate the numbers from so 1 2 3 4 5 right since we are do, dealing with um, factorial what is 5 factorial 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 correct right so for that i have used this now what we have to do every number we have to multiply so the formula for this is nothing but factorial is equal to factorial into i that's all 
at last we have to return factorial sir i will show you how it is going to work with the help of diagram suppose consider the value of n i have given as a 3 so what is the initial value of factorial it is 1 now my range function is going to generate the values from 1 to 3 plus 1 so 1 to 3 plus 1 means what 1 to 4 so 1 to 4 means what it will generate 1 so 2 and then 3 so first time f is equal to f into i so what is the previous value of f 1 so 1 into first time it is 1 1 into 1 will become 1 so it will be updated with 1 next time f is equal to f into i so 1 into 2 which will become 2 okay so next time so 2 into 3 which will become 6 now what is the factorial value sir 6 right so it is going to return the value of a factorial as a 6 it is going to return the value of factorial as a 6 like this it is going to work okay sir can you please confirm for one second i will execute this code so that you can check whether it is working properly or not so you can able to see number is equal to 6 and it's a factorial is nothing but 720 if i am giving 5 so number is equal to 5 and it's a factorial is nothing but 120 can you please confirm is this two versions of this program is it clear for you people yes yes i request yes, everyone yes. to please confirm yes. clear up to this yes sir. Yes, sir. right so there is one more version is there which is nothing but recursive implementation one more method is there called recursive implementation so i am taking factorial version 3 where i am going to take the value of n okay so if the number is equal to 0 then i want to return 1 if the number is not equal to 0 i want to return n into so factorial of version 3 by passing n minus 1 like this also we can take so now i am going to take by using version 3 i am implementing sir how it is going to work listen of course recursion a separate chapter is there there we will discuss in detail mm. consider first i am going to call factorial of some number called 4 sir first it will check this is the function which we called first it will check is the number is equal to 0 no because it is 4 now what will happen it is going to take else part return 4 into 4 into so because n is nothing but 4 4 into factorial of 4 minus 1 which is nothing but sir is it again a same function or not yes so recursion is a process of recursion is a process of calling a same function multiple times okay recursion is a process of calling a function again and again and again and again and again okay sir now what is happening it is going to call this function again sir it is going to call this function again so it will start a calling from here it is going to start calling from here now fact of 3 will become what so 3 into again it will become fact of 2 okay 3 into again it will become fact of 2 sir fact of 2 will become what sir again it is going to be called 2 into fact of 1 sir again fact of 1 will become what so 1 into fact of 0 so whenever we are getting the value of n is equal to 0 whenever we are getting the value of n is equal to 0 we are going to return 1 okay whenever we are getting the value of n is equal to 0 we are going to return 1 so what will happen this one value is returned by this particular function now 1 into 1 1 this value will be written here sir 2 into 1 will become 2 and it will be written here 2 into 3 will become 6 and it will be written here so 6 into 4 who called this f of 4 for them we are going to get 24 so here it will print 24 
answer is 4 factorial is 24 or not? Yes. In this style, it is going to work. Can you please confirm? Is this approach, is it clear for you people? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have a doubt here. Mm. Sir, will you be explaining all these things in detail, uh, connecting it to time complexity? Yeah, definitely, sir. Okay, okay sir. Yeah, thank you. Right. Time and space. Time and space complexity. No, no. We will concentrate on time only, sir. Space complexity is almost negligible, sir, because nowadays no one is going to look for space complexity. The reason for that is automatically these high-level programming languages are having garbage collectors. So whenever unused data is there, automatically it will destroy. We are not required to concentrate. But we can write less number of variables in our code to reduce the amount of space. We will concentrate on that aspect. But space complexity is not that much important. Okay. Uh, so can we have a session yes, sure. space complexity? Just a, a 15 or 20 minute session. Yeah, definitely, sir. I will take. Okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay, sure. Clear up to this? Yes. Yes, yes. Right. Right. So this is nothing but what we have in today's session. Sir, almost I can say uh, just overview and how my way of explaining the concepts, these things I covered, sir. These are purely demo sessions whatever i covered till now it will be again repeated with in detail explanation just how my teaching is are you getting my points or not how i am going to explain the concepts these things i think you have observed from the past four classes okay and from tomorrow i will start our regular session so introduction to data structures and algorithms in this chapter already i defined what is meant by algorithm and uh, some example also we have covered what is mean by flowchart and the implementation of that flowchart also we have seen. I mean, uh, implementation of that problem. And tomorrow we will discuss what are the advantages of applications, what are the properties like uh, complexity measurements and uh, asymptotic notations, growth of functions with some examples we will discuss. Okay, right, sir. So the people who are willing to continue, you can start making the payments and you can uh, registered for this course sir tomorrow also demo class only same link will be there and the same timings you have to connect join at eight o'clock tomorrow i will start at eight o'clock and we will have our regular topics from tomorrow yeah uh, hello yeah hello yes uh, last time uh, you want to share the first two classes is it possible can i yeah can we one get... second one second one second mm -hmm. So it is there already in our uh, YouTube channel, sir. One second, I will show you. I will share that link. Yeah, sure, sure. And the people who are willing to continue this uh, logic-based programming, uh, you can register for this course also. It is very useful, sir. Uh, just I will share the links of both the classes. Because in the logic-based programming, we are going to concentrate on the development of logics, how you can able to solve the programs. Okay, when once if you are getting any unseen problem, a new problem if you are getting, so how you can code for that? So that concept already we started a new batch at evening 7 p.m. The people who are willing to learn this, okay, you can join because here we are going to use some tools, okay. So hacker rank tool, all these things. So where you can get a complete practice, where you are going to get a complete practice. Both the links I am going to share. One second, I will show you that. Uh, yeah, you can see. Uh, here, we are going to cover almost 350 programs. 
so that you can become very expert in the coding area okay 350 programs we are going to discuss we will use some hacker rank tool for practicing the programs so every program will have in this style we are going to write code for that program in c language as well as in java as well as in python in all these three languages we are going to cover these 350 programs okay the people who are willing yeah in all languages so i will share both the links here you can go through it sir class class link can you provide us like uh, this zoom class link I so we can register be, yeah i think here it will be there man okay okay yeah okay okay got it Uh, it is not there here. One second, I will show you. You can go to Durgasoft website and there you can. So, Prakash, are you recommending that we take the logic based programming before this? No, 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 no. These two are independent, sir. But if you want to be strong in coding area, so just I am recommending that. Yeah, taking those two courses together is going to crush. No, so, no, no, sir. No, sir. Independent course. courses. So tomorrow when you start the actual session, uh, I will ask you that, is it possible that in, do not skip any introduction like you discussed in the... Uh, yeah, definitely I will start from the beginning, sir, because you're still some two to three members are asking the same question yeah. on the chat window. I okay. will start from the beginning. Don't worry. Thank you. It is today's day, 25th, right? 24th, we started. Sir, DSC night, night time, this one, sir, feature, la, sir, la, uh, Python, la, na, sir. Ah, uh, sir. Already started in the day, Jaruta on the class. Uh, and then, you know, the one, and the engineering the other, sir. Like morning call at least, sir. Night, I think. I mean, evening, this one, evening, this one, no problem. So, uh, one more question. Uh, that logic-based programming course is covering three languages, but I do not know the other two. I only work with Python. No so. problem. You can concentrate on Python code. When I'm explaining all these three languages, you can concentrate only on Python okay right someone asked that uh, course uh, registered link right Just yeah thank it. you thank you sir yeah. right madam and uh, how many classes uh, have been completed for logic please sir it will be 45 days sir okay and extra classes will be there on saturday and sunday okay so all these 350 programs we are going to cover. There is no dependency from one class to another class because it is not concept oriented. It is a program related, right? So every day we are going to cover some programs. If it is easy, we will cover five to six programs. If it is difficult programs, two to three programs with the clear explanation in all the languages. Okay. And uh, no, no, till now, how many classes have completed? For logic, uh, no, yesterday only we have taken the demo, only one program we finished. Oh, okay, okay. Yesterday started, right? Okay. Mm, yesterday started, just I, I started yesterday. I have taken only one program, program number one. Of course, basic programs only, very beginning programs we have as of now. So, slowly the complexity is going to increase. And you will cover a hacker and how to do that. Uh... Oh, yeah, and, but uh, we have a hacker rank tool is there. So there you can practice these programs. One second, I will show you. No, we have the hacker rank in uh, some other programs, right? Uh, yeah, that you can practice. Mm -hmm. So like this, we created our own uh, programs and we dumped into this hacker rank tool and we will give this tool for you. Here you have to practice. Uh, for example, here there is one problem implement a program to calculate the free number of cups the user will get for a specified number of cups bought by the user. The user will get one cup free for every six cups bought. That means buy six, get one free. In this offer, 
we are going to purchase some coffee cups how many free we are getting so total how many cups we will get we have to return input format number of cups there is no constraint the total number of free cup coffee cups how we are getting that we have to return so sample input 0 if the number of cups is 6 output is 7 because if you purchase 6 cups one extra we will get right that one if you purchase 8 cups we are going to get 9 because in 8 how many 6s are there only one so 9 cups means 10 11 cups means 12 sorry uh, 10 cups means 12 11 so 12 cups means 14 because in 12 two 6s are there now here we have to write the code in c language and java and python we have to submit the final code so if you want to just i will show you this is a sample program so print of n plus in n how many 6s are there we have to write simple formula and you need to run the program and you will get all these test cases whatever i displayed so based on that you have to write the program by considering these things as examples after that just you have to submit the code once if you submit the code we are going to get all the test cases are passed like this we can solve so how many programs we are going to cover like this 350 programs we are going to cover got it Yes, 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 yes. Right, sir. So, thank you. Both are same or different? Sir, both are same, sir. But that is a different platform and this is different platform. Okay. Both are for coding, uh, ah, for yes, practicing yes. the coding. Model. Okay. Actually, most of the companies, which one? Hacker, hacker, hacker. Uh, that depends on the company, sir. Because these people are going to give uh, some, uh, what you can call, paid versions, right? For companies all these things so they are going to use that links for conducting <coughs> coding round interviews ah uh, yes yes yeah if the student is very good at any one of the platform then he know how you can able to manage all these things the fresher who don't know anything about these tools and directly they are entering into the examination means it will take some time right so that's why just we are asking the students to practice in this domain with the 350 programs at least a somewhat expert he can become right that is our intention. Sir, you will be giving access to this hacker, sir? Uh, sir? You will be giving access to this site? Ah, yeah, yeah. We will give, sir. That is not a, a separate process, sir. Just if you have a Gmail ID, you can connect oh. it to that. But yeah. we will give a separate link. So in the demo, only some few programs will be there. Once okay. if you registered for this, you will get a separate hacker rank link there. Uh, all our 350 programs will be there. You can practice. Yes, sir. sir, for this DSA with Python, uh, also can you provide sir, that one to practice? No, 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 no. Here only concepts will be there, right? For concept, okay. one program we are explaining. Okay, okay. Okay. okay? Yeah, uh, sir, one more point. Lead code is also same, right? Lead yeah, lead code. code is also same, sir. But it is a bit advanced concept, sir. So there you can expect our uh, uh, data structure programs also. See, for example, if I'm taking a stack, stack follows a last in first out. In the demo, I explained, right? So wherever last in first out concept is required, so there some applications will be there. So those applications you can expect in the lead code. So you can open and don't open now itself. Once if you finish the data structures and algorithms with any one language, then take the small problems, easiest problems. Try to solve it because you can see, suppose if I am asking the reverse of a string, reverse of a string means what last character we have to get first right. So we can use last in first out technique. Are you getting the point? Mm, yes, yes, yes. So from first character onwards, if, if you push it into the stack, what will happen? The last character which you pushed, if you pop, then you will get a reverse. So in such application areas, we are going to use that. Python reverse index concept will work internally based on this recursion only. Like that we will have. Right, sir. Okay, guys. Yes, Thank you. Uh, we will meet for the continuation. Then, yeah, one more for these uh, platforms are free or any paid versions? No, no, no. You you can get for free. Mm -hmm. okay. Sir, one more question, sir. Is it possible uh, to move the class one hour uh, before, sir? Uh, which class, sir? Uh, this class. 
no sir no sir this is uh, scheduled for 8 o'clock uh, 8 to 9 will be there but sometimes if the concept is a very lengthy concept if i am taking then i will plan for 7:30 to 9:30 like that on weekends ओके Yeah, I can't give guarantee now. Okay, so because already we have committed at eight o'clock. So if every person is okay at seven o'clock, then no problem for me. I will move to the seven o'clock. Yeah, for this sessions uh, we can record. Uh, we can get the recording sessions. Yeah, yeah, recorded uh, sessions you will get. Yeah, and so the software. every class is yeah every class is recording right. So yes. only up to demos we will share on the YouTube, and uh, once if. Uh, course got started perfect classes got started so then uh, you uh, we are going to share a separate drive for you people in that starting from day 1 including demos every class will be there sir ogala me recorded class run up doubt ichina put phone chesi adagochcha sir you can meer uh, whatsapp isthan nenu whatsapp number isthan anto communicate avachu right endukante mem class lo engage cheyintam kada उट సర్ 2 మంత్స్ కన్నా ముందే అయిపోయిందా లేకపోతే ఎక్కువ పట్టేస టైం 2 టు 3 మంత్స్ బికాజ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ టైం వి ఆర్ డీలింగ్ దిస్ డిఎస్ఏ విత్ పైథాన్ ఇన్ అవర్ దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ ఓకే ఓకే థాంక్యూ థాంక్యూ రైట్ సర్ విత్ డిఎస్ఏ జావా ఇస్ బెటర్ ఆర్ పైథాన్ ఇస్ బెటర్ సర్ ఫర్ ఇన్ బోత్ ఇన్ ఇన్ బోత్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కవర్ ద సేమ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ ఫీలింగ్ కంఫర్టబుల్ విత్ జావా యు కెన్ గో విత్ జావా If you are comfortable with Python, you can go with Python. If you want to learn both also, no problem. You can enjoy the features. So how easily we can solve in Python, or how these uh, tricks are going to work on Java, you can enjoy these uh, domains. That's all. Companies, you don't need to be an expert, just as sir Manjiga. Ah, all I need is that the companies, all the standards based, just only all requirement based, just only that. So if they are working. their projects with python they will ask data structures with python so if they are working with respect to java they will ask dsa with java like depends on their requirements sir ikku python use chestunnaru kada sir java is konni situations base chestunnandi both are good yeah right thank you guys we will meet for the continuation soft copy ante man running notes as a soft copy you can use yeah running notes e running notes as it is send yes sir so we will sir, share it if you try sir if you register for uh, logic uh, logic based program so do we get any additional benefits sir uh you can uh, that's what i told sir right uh, so you can become expert in the coding area that's all okay just you attend the demo at evening 7 o'clock i will give all the clarity okay sir my mobile number sir send me after ah le course register in tarata i will give ah sir right thank you guys we will meet for the continuation tomorrow sure sir thank you thank you sir thank you